Luke, you're, you're a veteran guy, tough spot here, four losses in a row. How do you keep the locker room together in this situation, you know, to, to, to get ready for next week? Yeah, um, you know, just like you said, just next week, you know, we got next week to get better, just stay focused on what we need to do to execute. And, you know, losing sucks. Um, we just got to find that turning point to get the W on board. Coach Stafford talked about how the three-man rush was kind of giving you guys some issues. What was Iowa State doing so well, maybe stunting rotations to give you guys some fits? Yeah, credit to their defense. Uh, yeah, they just – how their linebackers played, just how our protection was called, and, uh, you know, just how – just pretty much just how they, they schemed us up. And it was a good scheme. I mean, you know, how we slid and then, um, you yeah, know, it's just what they did and then it just – it gave us the trouble. What do you tell fans, students, about next week? It's another new kickoff. You know, it's no fun to lose these things, but you have another one, and you know, right now people are a little antsy. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to say to the fans, you know, even though we had we're on a losing streak, you know, just keep coming. I mean, what you guys bring at, to the energy is what we we feed all that. We love the energy that you guys bring, and uh, just stay with us. You know, it's it's a long process. Just stay with us. We're we're gonna get the ball rolling. The first drive, Coach Satterfield mentions that deep ball as a turning point in this game. What did you guys see up front there offensively and really on that shot? Did you guys feel that was the turning point up front there in the offensive line a little bit? Uh, personally, me personally, I don't think so. Yeah, it was just a missed ball. And yeah, I could have went for six. But I mean, we had other opportunities other than the game. Um, it's just that we just got to execute. And, you know, I, I personally don't believe any in any turning point beats. You always got to battle. And, uh, just play to the end, but uh, yeah, I just think it's just you know missed opportunity. We just gotta execute another play. Coming into this game, Iowa State, including non-conference play, was allowing about 215 yards per game passing. You guys weren't able to crack 100 today. Wait, where do you think that disconnect was? Um, you know, it just starts off with us. I mean, if we don't give Emory or Lichty time, I mean, he he can't make the he can't be uh, decisive with the ball. He'll have to be indecisive and not like be worried about the pressure and that's what we, we just need to be better up front. How was Emory's morale as the game progressed? It was always there. I mean, it's not like, yeah, just one play. And then it's just that I think, uh, you know, we, we just kept constantly bringing him up, bringing him up like, hey, come on, we, we're good. And then he, he was right there. I mean, he was just trying to keep battling. Uh, the run game kind of struggled there, obviously. Emory finished with 72 yards. What was Iowa State doing so well that kind of really uh, took that run game out of the factor today. Yeah, they were just running uh, just different blitzes that, I mean, we, we looked at, but it was just, um, we had in-game adjustments and I thought it was going to work pretty well. And we ended up doing decently well with the, those adjustments. But I think by the time those were adjustments, it was just kind of too late. Any questions for Luke? Thanks. Thanks, Luke. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it.